Now in old school RuneScape, there are thousands of different items, but have you ever wondered where all of those weird random ones go? I mean, you sell them on the Grand Exchange and somebody buys them, but who? Well, welcome to the very strange world of OSRS hoarding. So what is old school RuneScape hoarding? Well, it's this. A fairly niche community of players have amassed millions or sometimes billions of random junk items. Stuff like bronze daggers, leather chaps, flax, but really anything is on the table. Some of these hoarded collections have taken years to obtain and are truly impressive in its own weird kind of way. Now let's start off by having a look at one of my favorite pictures of the year, and that's from someone called Good Duck 4 who kind of out of nowhere just dropped this image on Reddit of them having a 10 million stack of Serum to a 7. And not only one stack, one for each dose quantity. So they have 10 mil Serum to a 7 dose 4s, dose 3s, 2s, 1s, and dose 0s, which, you know, just a vial, but still cool. This collection is completely insane for one main reason. Who uses Serum 207? It's a very niche item that is sometimes made as a training method, but not many people make it. So the fact that this player managed to obtain 10 million of each dose is crazy. When we're talking about the rarity of collections, the biggest gating factor is the Grand Exchange buying limit. The way that most players obtain large quantity of items is by just using the Grand Exchange or trading other players. Now this person probably did a combination of both but it's just kind of hard to fathom that there was even 10 million Serum 207 doses in existence, but not even that, that one person managed to amass them all. Just completely crazy. Now, in the world of collecting, there's a kind of a couple different categories of collectors. There's single item collectors, like that last person. They kind of dominate a single item. And then there are players who collect a variety of different items, just trying to amass the largest collection of anything possible. Now the next image we have from someone called Beethoven who has by far one of the most impressive collections currently and there's honestly just so much to dissect from this one image. Firstly the bank value is 22 bill worth of junk items which is crazy. Now one thing to note here is I am using a piece of software to enhance some of these images just to get the quality a little bit higher for YouTube but all these images have been verified within the collecting community themselves. If you want to check them out, there will be a link in the description to a couple discords that primarily focus on item collection. Now at the top of the collection here, we have burnt items. Now I did an entire video on burnt items. The bullet points though are burnt items are not tradable on the Grand Exchange, which means you have to trade them person to person. Now because of that and the fact that you stop burning items eventually, makes these an incredibly rare collection. And of course, they have millions of these burnt items. Now if you scroll a bit further down, we have some green stacks of items. Getting 10 mil or more in a single item, incredibly difficult, assuming that's not coins or feathers or vials, something like that. But Beethoven actually has 10 mil kebabs, which again, surprised that there are even 10 mil kebabs in the game right now, but very impressive. You can buy about 6,000 kebabs an hour, assuming that, you know, enough people trade them into the Grand Exchange. Uh, they also have a 10 mil stack of trout, and maybe even more impressive than that is 10 mil orange feathers and 10 mil stripy feathers. I mean, how many people are catching copper longtails? Can't be that many. But honestly, it's one of those collections where if you look at any of the individual item stacks, it's kind of just insane to think they managed to collect that many. 300,000 party hats at a buying limit of 150 per 4 hours. You could pretty much highlight any item and it would be very impressive. Now, a few months ago, I ditched my old wallet for a Ridge wallet, which is a sponsor of today's video. The Ridge wallet is a minimalistic take on the conventional wallet. It comfortably holds up to 12 cards, but still remains very slim in your pocket. Here you can kind of see the size comparison between my old wallet and my new Ridge wallet. They offer a ton of different unique colors and styles. Currently, I think there's over 30 of them. 
but I went with the Forge Pacific. Now, I've been using my Ridge Wallet for a few months now, and it's pretty obvious it's made with really high quality materials, is extremely durable, and even comes with a lifetime warranty. It also comes with RFID blocking, which is a nice bonus. Now, Ridge also offers a similar solution, but for your keys, and that would be the Ridge Key Case. The key case streamlines and organizes your keys and keeps them nice and compact, so no more jangling keys. Now is actually a really good time to pick up a Ridge Wallet because they're currently running a Black Friday deal. So as always, to get the best offer, make sure to use the link in my description, ridge.com slash flipping OSRS, and right now you can save up to 40% through December 22nd. That's ridge.com slash flipping OSRS, link in the description. Hungry for apples, anyone? Well, we have a Reddit user who posted this insane collection a few months ago. Someone by the name of aqpw.art posted a collection of 10 million cooking apples. <laughs> That's an absurd amount of apples in the image that are even valued at nearly 5 bill. Who knows how much they would actually sell for, but even if you look through the price history of the year, cooking apples have quadrupled in value. Now, I can't say for certain whether this person is responsible, but <laughs> I don't know. They have 10 million apples. Probably had an effect on the market. Now, all they have to really do is turn that into 10 million apple pies and call it a day. Okay, so here's an interesting one. 10 million raw karambwanji. Now, what's unique about this item is this is an untradeable item. They got all of these by themselves. No trading, no grand exchange. They essentially iron manned. 10 million raw fish. Now granted, Karambwanji are fished at a much quicker rate than others, but still. I have no clue how many Karambwanji this person got per hour, but I would say this looks like it took more than 100 hours of just Karambwanji fishing to get that 10 mil stack. Okay, here's another interesting collection from someone called Term Paper. While not the biggest collection in the world, they collected a thousand of each Melzor maze key. These were collected by hand by killing the monsters in the maze a thousand times each. As you can see, not all collections have to even be tradable. Some people collect untradables just for fun and, you know, it actually looks pretty aesthetically pleasing. Maybe they'll get 10,000 one day. Now, if you like green stacks of items, you're gonna like a collection by a Virtuality. They have a green stack of dozens of different items and not just 10 mil. They have 373 million empty baskets, 209 million sacks. I mean, that's a lot of sacks. And just a massive quantity of a ton of other items. Somehow they have 15 million stripy feathers again. Surprised that many are even in circulation. 58 million eyes of newt. Obviously these are common items, but they have huge quantities of them. So here's another interesting collection. Some by the name of Merchant really likes collecting uh, red things. They have 1.3 million red capes, which is pretty cool. 10 million red feathers, which is insane. And somehow 10 million chaotic hand eggs. Now these are tradable, but I don't think you can trade them on the Grand Exchange. And the only place to buy them is from Diango, a hundred at a time. So while they may not have accumulated them all personally by hand, someone at one point had to buy them from the shop, trade them manually over to someone else. And as for the red feathers, I mean, I don't even know what to say about that. Where are all these red feathers even coming from? Now, another couple interesting stacks of items here is from Quickscope's collection. They have an extremely impressive collection of a bunch of different items, but one thing that I was noting here is 10 million emerald bolt tips. Where do those even come from? I guess Vorkath. I mean, I guess that's where all the emerald bolt tips from Vorkath go to die. And the final collection I wanted to highlight is from someone called Yo, who somehow managed to collect 10 million bark. Who's ever used bark before? I mean, you can chop it from a tree, obviously. You can create split bark armor, but a very obscure item, yet they somehow managed to get 10 million of them. Now, how long does a collection like that take to obtain, or any of these, really? Well, it is a significant amount of time. For example, if we look at bark on the Grand Exchange, you can buy 13,000 bark every four hours, theoretically, but you're not likely to do that. The volume for this item is actually closer to around 10 to 20,000 per day. And even if you're being kind of generous, at 20,000 bark per day, it would take 500 days of someone totally emptying the Grand Exchange of product to obtain this many. 
A couple other examples here are the 10 million kebabs at around 30 to 40,000 per day would take 350 days of completely clearing out the Grand Exchange to get that many kebabs. Now probably most impressive of all is the Serum 207 guy. Just to get the 10 mil stack of Dose 4s, I would estimate took 2,000 days of straight Grand Exchange buying. So over 5 years just to get the 4 dose stack, not even to mention the other 3, so you could pretty much double that. Now I doubt it took him 11 years, but still, it's got to be one of the most time consuming collections I've ever seen, and why it's honestly that impressive. Anyway guys, that's going to be it for the video, go check out the collecting discords if you're interested. Someday I'm going to start a collection of my own, it'd be fun to make videos about it at some point, probably a more long term project that will come around eventually. Thanks for watching as always guys, and I'll see you next time. Now before I go here, I want to give a giant thank you to all of my members over on YouTube, Thank you to Mitch Reinders, March3258, Prophet of the Boosh, The Hybrid, and Kush Patel for subscribing at the Dragon Tier. Thank you once again for all the support. Also thank you to YoYoSub89, Mexos, and NDM001 for subscribing at the Runite Tier. Appreciate you all, and of course everyone else who became a member, subscribed, or just watched my video. Thanks again, and I will see you next time.